Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about another type of angle called vertically opposite angles. Let's see what are they. The name sounds interesting, isn't it? So these are opposite angles. So these are not adjacent angles. They are not located side by side. They are located opposite to each other. So opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines. Well, what are intersecting lines? So two lines which cross each other. So which moves over each other. So like what do you see here? Like maybe you can think of a pair of sword or a scissor. So there you get to see that two pieces moving over each other or they are crossing each other. These are called intersecting lines. Right? Now whenever two lines intersect, now opposite angles are formed. Which are the opposite angles? Now if you look at this angle, let's call this angle 1. So which angle is opposite to this? Now this angle would be adjacent because they are located side by side. Similarly this angle and this angle would also be adjacent. But when you look at this angle, what is it? They are located opposite to each other, right? Exactly on the other side of each other. So angle 1 and angle 2 are vertically opposite angles. So angle 1 and angle 2 are examples of vertically opposite angles. Similarly, if you call this angle 3 and this angle 4, then you can say that angle 3 and angle 4, they are also vertically opposite angles because they are also located exactly opposite to each other. So these are vertically opposite angles. Now, uh, did you wonder that why do we call them vertically opposite angles? Why the word vertical? What? How is it linked to vertical or horizontal? Well, it has not been derived from the word vertical. Instead, it has been derived from the word vertex. So why they have been named after vertex? Because these angles, they share the same vertex. So here if you see, this is the only vertex involved. So all these angles, angle 1 and angle 2, they share the same vertex and they are located opposite to each other. So they are called vertically opposite angles. Similarly, angle 3 and angle 4 share the same vertex and they are located opposite to each other. So they are also called vertically opposite angles. So that is why they have been named so. Now one interesting fact is that these vertically opposite angles are always equal in their values. That means if angle 1 is equal to, let's say that if angle 1 is equal to 30 degrees, what would be angle 2? Now angle 1 and angle 2 are vertically opposite, therefore angle 1 will always be equal to angle 2. So angle 2 will also be equal to 30 degrees. Now this is very interesting. That doesn't matter what the condition is but every time vertically opposite angles will be equal to each other. So let us look at this example. So here the image is a little different. So what do you see? You see two lines they are pass crossing over each other at a point. So they are also intersecting lines. So they will also form vertically opposite angles which is the if this is angle 1 which would be the vertically opposite angle. This angle definitely so this is angle 2. This angle would be angle 3 and this angle would be angle 4. So here also we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they are vertically opposite angles. Similarly angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now the question is why are vertically opposite angles equal? So why is it that every time they are equal? So let us try to prove why vertically opposite angles are always equal. So what is our aim? We have to prove that this angle, let, let's call this angle 1 and let's call this angle 2. So we have to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So let us start the proof. So let us also name this angle as angle 3 because we will be using it. Now looking at this diagram, we can see that angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees because angle 1 and angle 3, they make a linear pair. They have non-common sides as opposite rays and they are adjacent angles with a common vertex, a common arm and no common points. So angle 1 and angle 3, their sum would be 180 degree. Similarly, angle 2 plus angle 3, 
will also be equal to 180 degree so when you look at angle 2 and angle 3 they also form linear pair so their sum will also be equal to 180 degree so these are the two relations that we have let us name these as equation 1 and equation 2 so now from equation 1 and 2 what we can write we can say that see angle 1 plus angle 3 is also 180 degree angle 2 plus angle 3 is also equal to 180 degree so we can say that angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 right we can say that because both values are equal to 180 degree so from here we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 minus angle 3 now this is how we solve linear equations right just in the last lesson we learned that so if you move it from right hand side to left hand side plus becomes minus so plus 3 minus 3 will cancel out to give 0 therefore what do you get angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so hence proved so this is how we have proved that vertically opposite angles are always equal so Sim, in a similar way, you can also prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Maybe you can do that as an exercise for yourself. So now that we have learned about so many different types of angles, we talked about adjacent angles, linear pair, vertically opposite angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles. Now let us see, do we actually see these kind of ang uh, angles in things around us? Well, we do. Think of a scissor. So what do you see? You actually see that there are two lines intersecting each other and you can actually experience the existence of vertically opposite angles. And at the same time, you can also experience the existence of linear pair. So this way, these two angles would be linear pair, right? Similarly, when you uh, think of these two flags, so you would have often seen these kind of show pieces being placed in inside your cars or even at offices or homes. So there also you get to see the vertically opposite angles. When you talk about a flag, so during the flag hoisting, you would see that the flag stands straight. So that means it is making an angle of 90 degree with the ground. So that is where you can actually experience the existence of the right angle right let's think of this veg vegetable chopping board now when you look at this chopping board you actually have a board and you have a knife fixed over it now the knife is fixed in such a way that one end is fixed so this end is fixed and the other end is like movable so you can move it and like that you actually cut vegetables right so that that's the chopping board now when you look at this chopping board you can experience linear pair in a very nice way you would see that so so when you look at it from sideways this is your board and this is your knife so let's say if you pull the knife till up till here so you would see this is an acute angle and this is an obtuse angle and they form a linear pair let's say that if you have pulled the knife till here so what happens this is 90 degree this is also 90 degree again linear pair now, this might also happen that you have pulled the knife slightly more than 90 degrees. So, this becomes acute and this becomes obtuse, but still the sum is 180 degrees. So, here you can actually see an example of the supplementary angles also. You also see an example of linear pair. So, you see in things around us, we can actually visualize all these types of angles. You think of a pen stand. So, even in case of a pen stand, this is how the pen stands and you have uh, a base like this so basically when you look at this angle and this angle they also together form a linear pair or they, they also give you an example of supplementary angles so that means these are all examples which tell us that these angles they also exist in real life Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.